We finally did it. We sold the house and we're full-time RVers, officially. All excited? Yes, very. Kaylin didn't want to be in the video. I think she's struggling with some emotions over leaving the home that she pretty much grew up in. So she's chilling out in the truck. Wow. We are gonna go first to the RV park where we first took the RV when we first got it to learn. Go spend a week there. Y'all ready? We're ready. Who wants to shut the garage door for me? Kira. Me. Come on to Kira. Everybody out? Everybody's out. Close the little thing. No, Muffy, come out, come out. Come on, Muffy. Come on, Muffy. Come on, Muffy. It'll be okay. Can you close the little thing over the numbers? Close the little thing. Yep. Wait. Close the little thing. 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 I sent it to him in an email this morning. Here we go. Bye, neighborhood. Bye. <coughs> Excuse Come me. On, unicorn. <laughs> what unicorn? Unicorn that, that, I, that I was riding. Oh, that you were riding. Yeah. We went ahead and went with escapees. We are officially escapees and <laughs> living. Our address is moved over to the Texas escapees addresses. So we don't live here anymore. We'll do a full detailed video on how we sold the house and everything and how it worked. Right now, <laughs> Daisy doesn't want to move over. Daisy. Daisy, come on. Daisy. She likes to sit on the girls' seats. It's official. We sold the house. It's, it's hard work clearing out a house. Right. Yes. I put in 24,000 steps on my phone yesterday, just getting the house cleared out. So I guess you could say, <clears throat> I took some extra steps to sell our house. <laughs> <laughs> it's such a dad joke. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Just about wrapping up our first week full time. Well, I shouldn't say, first week full-time. I mean, technically we've been living in this since March and it's now the end of November, but we had the house the whole time. So we're without a house, we're houseless. We are houseless for one week now. So we're back at Twin Palms RV Park in Seguin, Texas. It's right on Interstate 10. I'm sure you're hearing the truck noise right now as all the big rigs are passing right by me. Thankfully, this microphone does a pretty good job of picking up my voice amidst all the noise. So hopefully, you're hearing all this and I'm not wasting my time. You can kind of see here the pool. Last time we were here, the pool was open. They got that all strapped down. They've got a fire pit back here and even a barbecue pit right there that's not in frame. Excellent work, Dave. But the picnic, covered picnic area is real nice. They got some lights around it. They have these pretty red, white, and blue lights around here. You can see from the highway. It actually makes this a very attractive spot. There's a playground right before you get to the dumpster. It's a decent place. We like this place. It's, it's efficient. It's sufficient. And we came here the time we sold the house, like we signed the contract to the time that we were closing to get out was about two weeks. And we closed on the house right before, literally the day before Thanksgiving. And with two weeks notice, it was very hard to find an RV spot for Thanksgiving. So it's not that I didn't want to come back here. It's that I wanted to go somewhere different just because we like to try everything. But that's all right. We revisited this place and we learned something new. Wait till you see this. Check that out right there. That is over a hundred solar panels up on a platform that's going to provide covered RV parking for some brand new 
spots that they didn't have before. They're still in progress right now. They've got somebody coming out to do some testing on it in a few days, and then they're gonna finish the bottom base layer. They have to put some special kind of pavers down and whatnot to help make sure that water is draining away properly from all the electrical stuff that was put underneath of it. It will be a slightly more expensive spot because it's further away from the highway and it's covered. But these are benefits, right? And how cool, they're playing around with solar power so they get tax rebates and stuff like that, which benefits the RV park. Wouldn't have known about this if we didn't come back here. It's pretty cool. And right back here, you can see the playground and our RV is back there on the other side. So the bathroom here is nothing too super fancy. Uh, it's actually funny, my face is taller than the mirror right there. Uh, there is a ceiling fan and some lights in here. We're here right now in late November and it's a bit cold in here at night. I don't know that there's a heater for this room. They have a light on timers, even though they say turn out the lights. It's been fairly well stocked. It's an older style shower. They could use a few more hooks, a little bench right there, some mats for your feet. I mean, it's obviously it's not super fancy, but it has, it's worked. I think the family has taken a shower every night in here. So the laundry room is nothing too fancy here. It's got three normal washers and three normal dryers. There is a stack of a higher efficiency one right there. It's a dollar fifty to wash and a dollar to dry. It's one of the best prices I've ever seen. So I know it's debatable amongst a lot of our viewers. A lot of people love to have the bigger RVs that have the washer and dryer connections in them. But it's not a regular washer and dryer. You're not going to get a washer and dryer like you've had in a house. So it's not going to wash near as much either. It's pretty much going to be a consistent job of laundry constantly running. It's so one of the things I found that I enjoy rather than losing that space in the RV is the ability to find a laundromat, everybody go and take all their stuff there, you're done for the day all at once. I find that to be more enjoyable, getting it done. But tomorrow is a travel day. We're gonna move on to our next location. And before we do so, I am just flushing the tanks, gonna put the hoses away today so I've got less to do tomorrow. And we have been struggling with cat litter. Yes, we do have our beautiful calico that lives in there with us. And I tried this stuff. I got real tired of clay. I've had cats pretty much my entire life of living on my own. Well, away from my parents. My mother has a lot of cats too. But I got real tired of all the clay. And so I've been trying different things. Now this stuff smells nice when you first open the bag. Once the cat starts using it, the whole RV stinks. So we have already tried this from Arm & Hammer. I think we can all trust Arm & Hammer is just good at taking care of odors, right? So I'm gonna go back to this. Hopefully this does better for us. Kira and Kaylin, their bunk is right over where the litter box is. We made a special cubby. This RV, we've got the outdoor kitchen and then Kira's bunk is wider than that and then the water heater's behind it and it left a lot of dead space in there. And so I cut a hole so that the cat could go in, made a special board to prevent any damage to wires and hoses that were under there. And that's where the litter box is. I also got like a plastic material, a real thick kind that painters would put down and just kind of draped it and taped it in there to help prevent any urine or anything else from getting into the wood, trying to keep it dry. It's not my prettiest job I've ever done, but it's effective. Oh, that stuff smells a lot better. The Arm & Hammer's got some kind of a deodorizer to it.
Yeah, this stuff is clumping litter with corn fibers. Double duty for odors. Outstanding. So then we were trying to scoop it and keep it clean, but that was getting kind of hard. So kind of went back to my old ways. Same time I dumped the black tanks, take the kitty litter pan out, put it into a trash bag, just clean it all out and put some fresh litter in there. Just seems to be a little bit easier. Now, when I was having problems with my black tank valve, I bought this, I think it's a Valterra extra valve because I was having a hard time. It, it gave me an extra way to make sure that we kept things clean. But even now I fixed it all, this valve provides an extra way for me to flush the tanks. So I can close it there, then run the water and fill it up. And then I set a timer on my phone. This is a 32 gallon black tank. I'm running it for two minutes and 12 seconds. Seems to be pretty good. And then I'll come back and after it's full, pull this out and keep flushing it until I'm happy with how it looks. All right, y'all, I'm gonna wrap up, get these hoses packed away so that I've got less to do tomorrow on our travel day. We appreciate you joining us on our adventure and we'll see you next time.